Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Renovating Willow Creek with me. Today we are going to be tackling the massive library here in Willow Creek. And to start off with, we're just gonna do a quick little overview just so we can see what it looks like before we get into the uh, demolition of everything. Like I said, it is quite a large build. It is a library, so it does make sense. Um, very dark inside compared to the outside, which I think is kind of weird. I'm definitely one of those people who likes to carry a lot of the color inside and outside. I feel like it just makes it look a little nicer. But yeah, so it's two stories, very big build, which actually made it a little bit difficult for me to kind of figure out what I wanted to do here. So here I am just going through and deleting things, including walls and windows, like it is typical on my channel apparently. And just getting rid of all the bookcases and everything that would signify that this is a library anymore. So like I said, with the size of this build, it made it very difficult for me to figure out what I wanted to do because if you haven't uh, watched my previous videos, my last video I made the museum in Willow Creek into the library instead. And it also has a daycare underneath and I was super happy with how it turned out, but that meant I had to figure out what I was doing with this build. And I went back and forth with a couple different ideas and I finally just landed on the idea of a cafe. Um, I just felt like it suited it. I, I didn't really think that we needed to have a museum. I mean, I don't really play with museums a ton in my gameplay. Um, if you do, that's, that's fine, but I just didn't feel like it, it was needed. And I thought it, this was perfect, in my opinion, especially whenever I saw that there was that patio area in the back. Um, I thought it would be perfect for additional seating. So I loved that idea, but then I also thought it was kind of small. So there you saw me getting rid of the porch and I'm going to end up making the back patio wider um, because I did get rid of that porch, which was fine anyways, because a lot of the builds in this world, I feel like a lot of like the porches and the roofing and things like that are super rounded off. There's me realizing I left a tile before <laughs> I uploaded. <laughs> Uh, the Movers and Shakers gym. So just ignore that. Pretend that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, also FYI, I do upload all of these builds onto the gallery. Um, it is just my name, Freckled Louie Cat. So if you are interested in downloading these, please check it out. Um, and especially with this one, you'll see at the end that I kind of make it so that you can do whatever you want with it at um, in, in the upper level of the build. Um, so yeah, I really love the idea of this back patio being here. I really wanted to use sliding glass doors and I really, really wanted to use the ones from Eco Lifestyle because they're so big and they let in so much light and they just look a little bit more modern, but in the end, I don't end up using them. I think I end up using the ones from Island Living, I believe it is, only because the Echo Lifestyle doesn't have the swatch that I am trying to use, like all of the brown flooring and the paneling. It does not have the right swatch. So here I believe is where I end up switching it out just because that drives me insane. I'm a very matchy matchy person. It's very hard for me to kind of go out of my comfort zone and have different tones of things. So I definitely wanted to make sure that it matched as closely as possible. And then here I'm trying to figure out how I wanted to do the layout. I figured uh, tucking the stairs back here in the corner was the best bet. Um, it, it just made the most sense to me because even if you only had it as like a one, I didn't like how the one um, tile stairs looked and the two I felt like took up too much space and then you had that really weird area beside it. So I figured just turning it fit perfectly. Plus I love using the turn stairs. Ever since they did that update, I almost always put my stairs like that. I very rarely use just straight stairs. And then I am back onto the porch. I'm just putting up some different columns and some railings. I wanted to use um, some different railings. I don't really use these, or not the railings, the columns. I don't really use these columns very much. So I kind of wanted to go a little bit outside of my comfort zone whenever I was using those. And then um, here I am just doing the other porch. And then I do go on to do the roofing as well. I do struggle with that. So there is going to be a cut where it's just going to be a completely new different build because I did a lot um, off camera. 
So as you can see, I did change it quite a bit. Um, I didn't struggle as much with the freezes and the trim in this one. I don't know why, maybe it's because of the platforms in the last video, but I definitely feel like I got the hang of it this time around. But I did darken a lot of the stuff. Um, the columns are now brown instead of white, along with the, um, the fencing around the porch as well. And then we finally move in to the decor part of the cafe. So definitely using the um, espresso bar, I guess is what you would call it, the coffee bar. And I definitely wanted to have something behind it, not just a menu and that's it. So I definitely um, used the same counters that match the coffee bar. And then I thought they would need extra storage and everything. So I definitely wanted to put the tall cabinets and then obviously I needed to have a menu. So I'm just going, scrolling through, trying to find the best menu. I went through a lot. We have like five of them, at least so far. I don't have all of the packs, but I was like, why do we have so many menus? What the heck? So uh, finally picked one that I thought fit very well. And then I am using these tables from Cottage Living, I believe it is. I actually just downloaded Cottage Living right before this build. Um, I downloaded quite a few packs right before I started doing this build. If you're not aware, whenever the Sins are coming out with new packs, they typically have sales on all their current packs. I shouldn't say all of them, but a majority of them. And because of the new Werewolf pack coming out and the, um, the other two kits, I believe they were, that came out, there was a sale. And your girl loves a sale because she ain't made of money. <laughs> so I definitely took advantage. I still don't have all of the packs yet. I heard some podcast or something the other day that all of the Sims packs equal out to like almost $800. And I'm like, first off, that can't be right, but it wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me, honestly. That's mind blowing to me. So I'm slowly but surely trying to get all the packs, but dang, that's, that's expensive. Moving on, um, so yeah, I am making a little seating area here in the corner. I did go back and forth between wanting to choose if I used that uh, couch and use two of them or the chairs, but I was super excited when I found these chairs because they do have a little bit of green which matches the windows, which I'm also super excited about that I found. I think those are from Discovery University. I could be completely wrong, but whenever I found those windows, I was so excited because I'm like, yes, a little pop of color compared to all the brown that's in the build. So I think that they just work really, really well with everything. And then just going through, I'm um, adding a little bit of decor, some different seating. And I didn't want to do huge seating like with backs or anything like that. I kind of wanted it to be a little more casual. And I really, really like this because it still kind of leaves in my eyes like an open eyesight line. But then outside, I wanted to use a little bit higher back chairs just to add a little bit of, of difference, you know what I mean? And then just adding a little bench out on the front too. And I did add that little um, open sign above it, which I thought was really cute. And this is holding a lot more seating than I was anticipating. Uh, originally, I was like, oh, we're definitely not going to be able to fit enough uh, tables and chairs and stuff in here. There's a lot inside the build, plus the patio, plus on the porch. So I don't think there's ever gonna be that many Sims there. I could be completely wrong, but it's set if you ever do have that many Sims or you have a party or something like that coming in here, which would actually be a great idea. And then moving upstairs. So this is the part that I struggled with. Like I said, this build is so big and I didn't know what to do with the upstairs. I did know I wanted the cafe to be downstairs. Originally I was like, oh, we could have an upstairs and it'd be like a place where people go and have like wedding receptions or something like that. But I'm like, no, I don't really want to do that. I mean, you can do that, but I don't know. I, I just wanted something a little bit different. So. My thought process was, I'm just gonna make some rooms upstairs. And if you download this on the gallery, then you can put whatever your little heart desires in it. Um, for me, I made the one a photography suite. Yeah, for photography studio. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard to figure out. Photography studio. So like maybe somebody rents out that area and they take photos or you know, you can just bring your Sims there and whenever you wanna get family photos or whatnot. And then for this other side, it was so large 
I just decided that maybe it's a meeting room. So I go through and I put some tables and chairs, some rugs, I put a podium, just some little knickknacks everywhere. And I kind of envisioned like, oh, maybe the employees and the boss from downstairs, when they have their monthly meeting, they come up and that's where they have their meetings at. But like I said, you can change this to whatever you want. My thought process after this build was completed was like, oh my gosh, it would have been such a good idea to have made this like the kitchen or you can even like split it into two. So you would have three rooms upstairs. You could have split it into a kitchen and they would have been the ones that make the pastries downstairs. But I had already completed this build and I didn't want to go back to it. So I just went with like a meeting room and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Also, the chairs are uneven there. I don't know if anybody would even notice that with how fast this is going, but I do fix that. I also fix the color of the door and I think some of the columns are a different color. So if you did notice that and you're like super irked by it right now, I do change it. So don't worry about that. And then for the photography suite, I love the idea of these like old chest of drawers. Maybe the person keeps a ton of their like accessories and stuff that they use for their photography in there. And I did actually just download the Mos Moschino. I'm probably saying that completely wrong, but I just downloaded that pack as well. It wasn't anything that I was super interested in getting, but I like some of the build items. And like the gameplay is super helpful with taking pictures of your family and stuff like that. And because it was on sale, I was like, sure, let's go ahead and get it. So yeah, I'm pretty excited with that. And then just putting up a few different things. I didn't clutter it up too much, but I did want it to look like professional, like a person comes in here and you know, it's, it's their business. And then I do put curtains up and you can see curtains on the other side, but I do believe I get rid of them as well. I'm not hundred percent sure if I even leave it in the photography studio, but everywhere else, I just really liked how the green popped through with the windows. So I didn't want to clutter it up with curtains. And then just adding a few little things here and there. I am moving on to the hallway, which is super boring. Um, all I do is put a couch in there, some plants, runners, um, some different like artwork. I put in a console table and I try to use one of my favorite mirrors in the game, but it just doesn't work because the color is so off whenever it comes to it. It's so frustrating because I really like the design of the mirror but I wanted to use the gold or the bronze. The gold is such an in your face gold, that one. It's so frustrating because I love that mirror and I think it's so pretty with the design on it, but I just couldn't use it. I, I couldn't force myself to do it. So I just go with a little green one just to kind of match the windows. And it looks like it's been there since forever. You know what I mean? And then just adding a few final touches with some pictures around. I do find a lot of things while I'm upstairs that I thought would fit in the downstairs and some photos upstairs as well. And let's get into the final result, you guys. So it looks very similar to what it looked like before. It's just a little bit darker, which I'm very happy with. And then with the green windows, it's just a nice pop of color in my opinion. I'm very happy with how that turned out. And then the cafe, like I said, this is so much larger than I anticipated. I mean, there's so much seating in here. I could have easily probably split it into two different sections for two different things, but I'm very happy with how it came out. Nice little patio area. And then the upstairs, like I said, I made it for what I thought looked nice, but you guys can definitely run with it, put whatever you need in the top. And I'm sure it'll look great with whatever you decide to put in it. With this being such a difficult build for me, I'm very happy with how it turned out and I'm glad to be done with it as well. Let me know down below if you like it or if you would do anything different. As usual, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye guys.